have the management joining in, so I'll invite you to listen and dip on and then give us your thoughts. As we were telling you earlier, the stock has surged 33% this year so far. And in August itself, it's up 13%. Ashang Desai, the Vice Chairman and Managing Director, joins us now to discuss their business momentum. Ashang, thanks a lot for joining in. You know, in your own words, you've said that the deal momentum has been very strong and that will lead to a good Q2. Uh, when you talk about the Q2 performance, what kind of growth are you looking at? And any more colour that you can give us on the deals that you've won so far? Yeah, so good morning, Sonia and Prashant. Uh, see, basically, as we generally don't give any specific guidance quarter by quarter, it will be difficult to basically say how much is the growth going to be. But we are on track with what we had committed in terms of growing faster than the industry generally on year-on-year -year basis. And the deal flow seems to be, in fact, improved in this quarter, over last quarter. So what's really happening is uh, we have been telling all of you that that the deal finalization is going down over the last few quarters. This is the first quarter where we are seeing there is some improvement in that. When I mean by improvement, little bit faster closing of the deals are happening compared to last few quarters. Deals are still slowing down. A slowing down of the decision is still there. However, there is positive movement in terms of reduction, in terms of wait time. So that's the positive side we are seeing. And some of it is resulting into the deal that we are booking. So, so we are very comfortable. That, uh, sure, got it. That's actually a, you know, a revelation that deal momentum is picking up compared to what you saw in the preceding two quarters. Does that mean that yeah, this revenue yeah. growth that you saw in the last quarter, about 2.5% constant currency growth, do you think you can do better in Q2 and Q3? See, the whole issue of orders that are booked this quarter has implication not only in this quarter, but next two or three quarters. So obviously, if we do well this quarter, uh, that would obviously impact future quarters, yes. Mm. Mr. Desai, you know, uh, <laughs> good morning, Prashant here. You'd said that uh, uh, pricing uh, pressure uh, in deals is intense. I remember, uh, you know, you'd, you'd said that. You said you were exp you were seeing competition from places which were not there earlier. Is that still correct, even though deal final finalization is faster, but is pricing still under pressure? Yes, pricing is still under pressure hmm. uh, because uh, everyone is looking at a mix of doing the discretionary project as well as improving the efficiency in terms of cost. Obviously, that translates into the pressure on the uh, deal pricing. But the positive side of it is many of them, many of our customers are now saying, yes, we want to reduce the cost. Can you take as much offshore as possible? Uh, uh, you know, uh, what we were do, trying to do on-site. Where customers were saying, no, I want on-site. Now they are more open to offshore, which means some of it work will come here. And that has a larger impact in terms of longer term stickiness of business as well as uh, overall profitability. But yes, to speed this quarter, that continues. All right, Mr. Desai, you know, we're a little short on time, but give us some color on the acquisition that you've done. Biz Analytica, I think uh, the revenues out there were around $14.5 million. How do you see this yes. business, uh, the acquired business, shape, uh, shaping up? I mean, what kind of revenues do you see it goes to in the next couple of years? And also, what's the margin profile out here? See, we are basically acquiring this company because that kind of puts us into a market segment which is fastest growing today, which is cloud data migration, cloud data strategy and movement of everything in cloud. And this company has a premier position in that area. So what will happen really is not only we'll get the benefit of their revenue, which is there, but some of our existing customers and the future customers will think this as a positive move because we have a complete offering now for them once we get with in, into three cloud migration of ERP that, that you know we have, Salesforce that we have, digital transformation that we have. This completes the story strategically. So we are very bullish in terms of its overall uh, impact on our revenue as we go ahead. And... Uh, the margin improvements have to be done now because we need to move a lot of work from this company to offshore. 
and that mm. is the process that we are working on so you will see margin improvement over next few quarters not immediately okay you know the uk government departments have been large clients for mastech in the past and given that the uk government is not in the best shape right the economy is not not in a great shape uh, how is that entire client group shaping up see the dynamics of uk government has to do yes to some extent economy matters however their movement outside eu is also an another vector which has some impact on the applications that we do so it is a combination of both of these which decides what kind of new applications that they are going to take so that that's one second is although the pressure is on the economy there are certain departments where there is a work to be done which cannot be postponed and those are the areas where we work that we don't see any slow down so overall we have not felt any pressure or pinch if i may say that however we we'll have to see as moving ahead how how the how the how the thing pans out mm. absolutely uh, but uh, the margin i think mr sunak is doing all the right things right mr <laughs> desai yes thank you very much we are hoping uh, that he will do all right things so that government also feels good to Yeah. digitize the economy and that pressure Absolutely. is still there on all all Absolutely. governments and Not that's the positive right. sign that we feel and we get right. into a lot of platform kind of uh, associations with the right. government which is happening and that right. combined with our completion of the portfolio through data acquisition right. feels us very good okay Mr. Desai, we'll leave it there, sir. Uh, next time, longer chat. I promise. Thank you very much for joining us, and hope to see you live on camera instead of on the uh, phone. But uh, thank you very much for your time.